Okay, that's number one. Number two is asking uh, B as a product of two irrational numbers. Or is the, sorry, is the product of two irrational numbers always an irrational number? Either prove that this is uh, this is the case, or give an example of two irrational numbers, the product of which is an irrational number. So it's asking us number two. It's kind of a thinking question here. So is the product of two irrational numbers? always an irrational number. So let me, let's, let's look at a few irrational numbers here. So for, first you have to, we have to ask ourselves, what is an irrational number? So you can think of a rational number as a number that kind of keeps going on and it doesn't really, there's no really definite end to the number as well. So common irrational numbers are like say pi here is approximately 3.14, and then 1, 5, 9, 2, you can go on and on. So pi is an irrational number. Root 2 is also an irrational number. So root 2 here is about 1.41. Um, but again, this can go uh, very, very far as well. So it's approximately 1.41. Other rational, common rational numbers, E maybe you've heard of here is 2.71. Um, this here is an irrational number as well. Um, and this, uh, or 2.72 actually, sorry, not 2.71, if I were to round it, um, it goes on and on as well. So the, so the question is asking, is the product of two irrational numbers always an irrational number? So if I multiply, for example, let's do case one here. So let's, uh, let's, sol let's, let's solve this using a logic. So case one, if I had, let's say pi here, times root two. These are both are both of these guys are irrational numbers. So if I were to multiply pi by root two here, I would simply just get root two times pi, right? I wouldn't get anything that's out of the ordinary. If I were to actually multiply these numbers and in terms of that, um, I would get some sort of value, right? In this case, this would be case one says that um, if I multiply pi by root two here, this would also be a rational number. Therefore, irrational product here, right? So in this case, um, both of these guys here, both irrational numbers, uh, um, but the product of both rational numbers here uh, will uh, always be a will be a rational number for this one. So that's case one here. So we prove this. this so this could be true. But let's use another case. Let's do maybe um, let's do three cases here. So let's do let's do e times root two here. So what's e times root two? E, e times root two will also be a rational number, right? 2 times e here, simply just root 2e, right? So we don't really have, um, this here is not, uh, this here is also an irrational number. So therefore, it's also a rational number, a rational product. However, let's look at my last case here. My last case would be, what if root 2, what if I multiplied root 2 by root 2? If I multiply root 2 times root 2 here. These, both of these guys individually are rational numbers, but the moment I, I put them together here, root two times root two is obviously root four, right? And root four here, we know it equals two. So, and this here is not an irrational number here. This here is a rational number, right? So therefore, this case has been, uh, this statement has been disproved by this case here. If I simply just multiply basically any, any two radicals or any two of the same radicals together, it will give me a rational number. So in this case here, um, this uh, statement is not correct, right? So is, is the product of two rational numbers always an irrational number? Uh, the answer here is no. And we prove this using case three here because root two times root two, both are rational numbers, but when put together, they give me a rational number. So in this case, I'm going to say, Solution is correct. However, it's vague because they didn't really give us me a, an example here. So because there is no explanation, and then we'll we'll write our explanation here. So let's do um, so square root of two multiplied by square root of two equals square root of four, which equals two product of two irrational numbers gives me a, a rational number in this case. So obviously solution here is correct, but it's just very, very vague as how they would... Um <laughs>